Well, sizzle my home dogs and konnichiwa my home sizzles. Um, what's up, guys? It's Alligator BTS here. BTS standing for behind the scenes, not not the K-pop K-pop group. Just point that out there, cause um, I got mistaken for a BTS fan um on a comment section. Anyway, um, yeah. So this is actually my second time doing a Minecraft Let's Play. Reason why you can't see the first one is because I deleted it. The footage for my an hour long second part of the let's play um, got corrupted and was moved. So I thought I could get a better seed, so I started a new one. And look at that, what an amazing seed. Surrounded by islands and a shipwreck. Yeah. Most people start Minecraft like in their world by mining trees. No, I get sugarcane and a shipwreck. Great. This is also my first time sh seeing a shipwreck, so I was very excited at the time. Finding all this loot, like treasure maps, paper, and all that. But now I realise that that really is some of the bomb of the barrel stuff that you can get in shipwrecks. I've heard people get diamonds, emeralds, gold, iron, all that stuff in there. But no, not me, I get some nice paper. But I do know, I did know at the time, that there were two chests in a shipwreck. There might be more, but I couldn't be bothered to check, because I would drown. But yeah, I raid both of them, and uh, that one's equally bad. Okay. Luck is not really on my side here, but uh, hopefully we can push through it, so I'll just let my feeble attempts of raiding the um, the ship just play out for a bit. Yeah, I got pretty close to dying there. Also, there's dolphins, but no, they couldn't help me whilst I was swimming. No. Couldn't help me actually get wood. Mm, not in that one. You know what I mean. So yeah, I set forth to an island with a tree. A single tree. This is like one of the worst seeds. Oh my god, I should just start it again right now. But you know. Um, yeah. So, um, I've got some goals written down somewhere. About what to do in this. Um, play through what I want to achieve. Okay, goal: defeat the Ender Dragon, obviously. Defeat the Wither, another classic goal. I want a Diamond Max Level Beacon, which is going to be very difficult considering I've got such terrible luck with this seed. Um, I want to make obviously a house. I mean, that's pretty standard Minecraft stuff, I guess. Um, in that house, I want to have a trophy room with all my achievements, well, if I get any. Like for example, I'll just have like. Um, and it, like an iron block there, gold block, iron block, emerald block, dragon head, elytra, elytra, whatever. And all that stuff, so yeah, trophy room. Um, I also want a dog army, like with all the colours on their colours. So that would be pretty cool, just have a whole dog army. If not, I'll set up for a cat army, like all the different styles of cat. So yeah. And also I want to raid everything. Like every possible thing to raid, I'm raiding it. So first of all, well, right. Right now we've raided a pirate wreckage and that's about it. Yeah. Wanna raid villages, sand temples, guardian things, I don't know. And yeah, so those are the goals. I might add some on as we go on, because there's not too many of them and it's gonna take a long time to get them. But you know we'll try. We'll try. So here I go, actually getting wood. I'm on a fairly okay island now. Just mining some wood, you know. Just getting the wood. Yeah, I really should have edited this video to make it a bit more entertaining. But look at that! One of my goals! I, I'm i very happy at this point because I found an island full of walls. So I'm really happy with that, but... Spoiler alert! Um, they, they don't last. No, no. They, <laughs> they, they don't last. No. No, they despawn or something when it comes to night time, you know? Despite me still being on the island, they they either get killed by zombies or just despawn. Also, um, there's not many animals on the island at the minute, but they'll, they'll spawn. They'll get there, they'll get there. Um, Sorry, I don't know what to say, I'm just a bit bleh from recording a voiceover for an hour and ten minute long video. But just for the footage to get corrupted. 
And now on this one, I'm going to record 20 minute voiceover, and then, I, I don't know, I might start doing non-commentary ones, because my voice is very annoying, all offence to me. Oh, but look at that, there's a baby wolf, maybe it's not so bad. If only I had bones, not like that, but you know what, you, you, you know what, you know what. Um, yeah, so I'll let the footage play out for a while whilst I think of a story to tell, because... Right now all I do is just explore the island, mine some trees, and do all that. Yeah, this is very boring. Um, oh, an apple. That's cool, I guess. And I got a bit of food from the potato suspicious stew from the pirate wreckage. Okay, um, story time. Basically, when I went to get my braces on, um, I got them on about like two, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. I got my braces on then, and um, yeah, they were fine for the first day. A little bit cluttered in my mouth. I could, I felt like this. Um, yeah. They were fine, they were fine. I had to get four teeth removed before that, and that was worse, to be honest. I was bleeding, like, every two seconds, and I couldn't speak because my mouth was numb to it. Oh, look, okay. Um, but, yeah. So, the braces weren't too bad for the first day. Then I woke up on the second day, and ouch. Do you guys know what ulcers are? You know what ulcers are. They're basically, um, like, tears on the inside of your mouth. Like, not gum, not your gum, just, like, like the inside of your mouth. Like, because I've got teeth that kind of poke out a bit further than they're meant to, even with four removed, I've still got those. But yeah, they were really hurting, they were scratching, they were making tears in there, and yeah, the ulcers were starting to form big time. So for three whole days I had to suffer through that torment, just pain, pain every day, every second, every minute, hour, lifetime, I don't know, just pain. And then, with my big brain, um... I looked at the £10 bag I bought, like, it's recommended for braces. I looked at it after the first three days, you know, a bit late, but mm, it's a thought that counts. Um, I open up the bag, see a travel toothbrush, a toothbrush with a little, a mini toothbrush on the end just to get in between the braces to get the food out, you know. It's a good idea. It's good. Um, and yeah, and do you know what was in there? A little box, like a little plastic snappy tub thing. It was really tiny and flat, so I open it, like green, a mirror's inside, and then there's these, like, strips. Like, no, not strips of cocaine, do it. don't get that mixed up. But no, strips of, strips of, like, gel kind of thing. Then I asked my mum about it, and we looked at the instructions, and guess what? Yep, they were used to prevent ulcers. You put them on, on your teeth, like, on the braces, so it created a barrier between the braces and the, well, inside of your mouth. So yeah, I could have used that the whole time, but no, I had to suffer for like, what was it, three, four days? No, and then I started using it, and because I have three teeth that do that and give painful ulcers, um, yeah, they, they ran out very quickly. So then for another three days after that, I had to um, survive with no gels again. And it was more torturous than last time, because the ulcers had kind of set in by then. They were starting to heal because I had the gels on. But no, they were really, like, they'd set they'd set in. And now without the gels, because you have to change them every day. Um, yeah, it was really painful. So then I, the new ones came, and they were in a little blue case. They hadn't got a mirror in it like the other one. Because they had, like, a mirror that was, like, stuck on or something. Really flimsy, like, crit stick or something. But yeah, it didn't have that. And it had, like, these weird tubes. Like, they weren't strips like the, the other gels were. They were, like, they were just tubes so then i read the instructions and it turns out you had to warm them in your hands for five minutes and like each one and then you had to like squish it down to get it flat so you can put it on your braces and then you had to break it off from the rest of the tube like so many steps when you could just have it flat and it was made of a different material so i had to really push it on my teeth so that was painful but yeah i pushed through it eventually and um you know it's fine it's fine Brace went over. Yeah. That took up a bit of time with the recording. Yeah. Where are we now? Um, 
Oh, we're in a cave. The one singular cave on the island. Yeah, there's no other caves than this. It, that's all we're getting. Oh, yeah, and in my last Minecraft playthrough, I, I didn't know how to craft a smoker, literally. Um, I had a furnace. And then, um, because I had some wood in my inventory, like, on, like, just normal wood, not planks. Um, it gave me the option to craft a smoker, so I did in my last playthrough. And, yeah, I did that, I crafted the smoker, I was like, oh, that's pretty good. But then I, but I thought that I, you had to surround it with cobblestone like you would a furnace, despite the smoker actually having brown bits on it, like, it's all in the design. But no, I thought you just surrounded a furnace with cobblestone, like you would make a normal furnace, but with a furnace in the middle. So I tried that on the second part of my Minecraft playthrough, and then that it didn't work. It didn't work, because I'm dumb, and I don't know how to, didn't know how to make a smoker. But now I found out how, and I'm too used to Breath of the Wild, so I tried to bake apples. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Couldn't find any coal in the cave for now, no iron, no anything so i just stick it out with wooden and stone tools you know because the shipwreck couldn't have given me anything no 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 yeah so right now i was thinking my only option was to um to get iron from zombies do you know do you know zombies drop iron well they do it's crazy they have like five percent chance of dropping an iron ingot i actually got that in my last playthrough but you know you know what happened to that one right. poof gone so yeah, I'll let the footage play out for a bit whilst I think of another story. Yeah, at this point I was thinking, no torches, no, I don't, I don't need torches, the viewers can definitely see what's going on. I mean, I, I was literally inches away from the TV because I said I was playing on an Xbox. But no, I thought you guys could see, which you can't, literally, I, I can't even see what's recording this voiceover. Right, but <clears throat> nope, this is going to be my home for the night because I learned from my last playthrough that going out in the night is not the best idea. Yeah. And the last time I died four times in the first video. Well, first and second. <coughs> sorry, I got Corona. JK, bro. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I'm pretty cringe, if you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And here's my first time upgrading my map to level four. Just does that even do anything? I don't know. First time. Upgrade your map. Yep. There we go. And I like to zoom out and clear. I was like, what the fuck? And yeah, it turned out you can rename the map. So, you know what I named it? You'll see in a minute. But you'll see. Hopefully in this video. Or is it or is in the next one? So yeah, I was pretty confused with this because I'm not the smartest person, so. Yeah, let's see if I rename the map here. Yeah, no. Just going to be called Map 1 for the rest of the place. Yep, level 4. Nope, going into the furnace. One, one. I literally have nothing. <laughs> no iron to smelt, no gold, no diamonds, no anything. Not that I could have got diamonds anyway, because no iron pickaxe. <laughs> But yeah, so I decided to settle down on this island for now. And that's where I am today. Like, in because I haven't finished my playthrough yet, obviously. Um, in the next video, I'll still be on the island. And maybe the one after that. And hopefully I'll set out on the one after that. Ooh, do you know what I need? Do you know what they should add if they haven't added them already? Into Minecraft? Backpacks. Like, I know they got shulker boxes where you can just carry your stuff around. you got your ender chests and all that. But no, you need something more accessible. Wait, the barrel still there? No. No, it's not So yeah, I'll let the footage play out for a bit. I'll think of another, another story. Why I didn't tell a story to start on. On this one, I said I was going to. See you later. Oh.
Oh, this is where I rename the map. Okay, okay. I'm also for sound a bit different here. Um, <clears throat> it's been about five hours since that recording, the last one you've heard. So yeah. So obviously I name it the ultimate map. I mean, what else could I name it? And yeah, what's that map? Oh, oh, Jesus! I was gonna come up with another story, didn't I? Um, okay, sisters, you got a sister? I've got a sister. Crazy, right? Ha ha ha. Um, basically, um, when she outgrows clothes, do you know what she does? I can't talk with these braces. Oh my god. When she outgrows clothes, what do you think she do does with them? Yep, the only logical thing. She obviously cuts them up and makes them into crop tops or shorts. Obviously. And do you know what happens when I outgrow my clothes? Yep, the same fate happens to them by my sister. And do you know where all of those clothes that I don't need anymore, that she doesn't need anymore, do you know where they all go? Yep, back in my wardrobe. Yep, oh, they're definitely necessary there. Mm-hmm. Yep, they... Ugh. I mean, I... I've th tried to... My God, there's so many children or whatever who could use those clothes, and she just cuts them up, you know, chop chop, snip snip, couple lowy, boom, and ruins the chance of them never having clothes. I don't know. I'm going on a tangent here, but let's switch over. Um. Also, every time we go in the car, do you know what she does? Yep, sits in the front. You know how most people like all the siblings always sit in the front because. I mean, oh, I'm older, oh, got us in the front. No, she has to sit in the front every single time, every car ride, whoever's driving, even in, not in taxis, but, you know, if if she was allowed in taxis, then she would. My God, she's seven, I'm 14. Um, So, yeah, she, sorry about that. I just destroyed my knee, but it's okay. Anyway, yeah, every time, even on my birthday, even on my birthday, she has to sit in the front when we go out to restaurants. Literally, my mom has to sit in the back of the car with me just because she wants to sit in the front. And I don't mean sit in the front like driving or anything. She's seven. But I mean like passenger seat stuff. So, yeah. Crazy, I know, I know. Yeah. Yep, what a good idea of mine, putting a chest in the window. Yep. Definitely can put a block back there, not like you got 10 gravel in your inventory. Uh, yeah, so just wanted to say that. And yeah, most of this video has been me messing with the cartography table. Yeah, I finally read the name. And um, yeah, I still, I still don't know how you work it. You just add paper to maps and stuff. No, speaking of maps, I really need to see where that treasure map leads to instead of just doing stuff but you know um in the next episodes i'll sell down on the island you know make some reformments and all that stuff so yeah so yeah what else is there um also my sister has a desk in her in the lounge which is the living room i call it the lounge just because and yeah she has a desk with all of her stuff on it literally everything toys little figures pencils they're everywhere I tidy it up, yeah, because what a good sibling I am, tidying up her desk. And do you know what she does? Yep, she throws everything about, messing up the whole lounge in the process, messing up her desk and everything. Oh, my efforts go in vain. And I do that every time. Every time she leaves the house, I tidy up her desk out of the goodness of my heart. But no, but no, it's never good enough, and she has to mess it all up again. I spend time, I could be just chilling on the sofa watching a movie, no. No, 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 I'm tidying her desk out of the kindness of my heart, but... You know, I don't matter, apparently. Sorry, sister rant, you know. I'll just let those 10, 20 seconds play out. Just without my commentary and my awful voice. See you guys next episode. <laughs> Thank you.
it's basically my first time editing.